Now to the war in Gaza. It has uh, had a devastating impact, of course, on the health care system there. Here's a breakdown of the numbers on hospitals available for the 2 million people in the Gaza Strip. Before Israel responded to Hamas's October 7th attack, Gaza had 36 hospitals. At the end of April 2024, 25 of these were oh, 25 of these hospitals were out of service and only 3 were partially working. In addition, 5 field hospitals have been set up. Medics on the ground are trying to cope as best they can as this report shows. This woman is being brought to the European hospital in the city of Khan Yunis in southern Gaza, along with others injured in an Israeli airstrike. The hospital is one of the few still functioning in Gaza since Hamas's terrorist attack on Israel in October last year. The system has been left in ruins as Israel's offensive and fighting with the militants goes on. Effectively, there's no health care system in Gaza. The system has collapsed even be before our arrival. We're basically trying to revive a system that is already dead. Gaza City's main hospital before the war, Al-Shifa, is now completely destroyed after an Israeli operation in February targeting suspected Hamas members, Israel said, were using the building as a command centre. Israel also raided NASA hospital in Khan Yunis in February after reports that Hamas was holding some of the hostages there. The NGO Doctors Without Borders was recently able to start treating some patients again at the hospital. Thank God MSF was able to resume its work again in NASA hospital and I returned for treatment. And now I've improved. But I spent a period fearing that the scenario of what happened in Al-Shifa hospital would be repeated. But at most hospitals, the situation remains dire. After working throughout the conflict, sometimes for little or no pay, staff are exhausted. They're having to deal with patients, often without the means to treat them properly, because the hospitals lack medicines and basic supplies. Joining us now from Gaza is Hisham Mana. He's a spokesperson for the International Committee of the Red Cross. Thanks for being with us. Could you please describe for us what's happening where you are right now? Thank you for having me. Uh, over the past two weeks, we have been witnessing massive waves of displacement. The, uh, the UNRWA estimates that so far over 800,000 people had to evacuate from the western and central Rafa city uh, in south and Gaza Strip, uh, where they have been displaced for months, uh, facing extremely dire military situations. Um, and now they are headed to uh, in and out of the city in areas that are not equipped or do not have the basic necessities the, the entire population needs in terms of uh, clean water, food, hygiene, and on top of all, safety, security, and health care. After many hospitals have come to rubble and have been pushed out of service, the entire healthcare system now in Gaza has been uh, paralyzed for, for, for months, uh, leaving a few hospitals that are not fully equipped, in addition to a number of field hospitals with very limited bed capacity to respond to uh, over 2 million uh, people. Uh, uh, needs uh, in terms of healthcare. Right. Now, as our report mentioned, at least 25 hospitals in Gaza are out of service. Uh, you, you, you yourself just pointed out that this dire situation there. W what are the options for people to receive treatment in Gaza? Well, there's only one hospital that remains capable of providing advanced healthcare service. That's the Gaza European Hospital in Khan Yunus Governorate in southern Gaza Strip, where um, a team of uh, international community Red Cross surgeons and doctors have been working and living there since last November, performing an average of 20 surgeries on a daily basis. The ICRC has also recently established a field hospital in the city of Rabah, uh, close to the beach. Uh, that is uh, able to absorb 200 patients on a daily basis uh, and equipped with two uh, operation theaters. However, in addition to a number of other field hospitals, this is all what the people in Gaza uh, have uh, or places that they can head to receive medical treatment. And I'm talking about war surgery cases. I'm not talking about hundreds of thousands of patients, cancer patients, uh, patients who rely on daily dialysis services, um, chronic disease patients, and persons with disabilities who have been totally disconnected from the entire healthcare system for months 
and have not been receiving the adequate health care they are entitled to receive regularly as they used to. The entire northern Gaza Strip, where there is an estimate of nearly 300 to 400,000 people, uh, are lacking health care, the basic needs of, of health care. Many patients, many cases who have been injured due to the facilities, haven't yet received the treatment they need or the right. surgeries they are expected to receive. Hisham Mana, spokesperson for the International Committee of the Red Cross, thank you very much for talking with us from Gaza. Thank you.